Hello guys, this is Cedric um, for a, a new tutorial. Um, I had been asked uh, recently to do something. Um, a friend of mine contacted me and said, oh, did you see that render by I am Malstev? Uh, Malstev, sorry for the mispronunciation. And um, he asked me, like, do you think you could try to do something like this? So. Um, I didn't really, really try to copy it 100%. Um, I had very limited time to do it, so I tried to put something together and I got a result that looked like that. So I didn't do any camera move and it, it, it is different, but it does remind a little bit the, the, same, the same render. Obviously, I wouldn't compare entirely because his is um, amazing and um, and uh, he had the ID. Um, so that's that that's what makes it um, a lot better than mine in, in any case. But um, um, since I did it, um, other people ask me, like, how did you do that? So I thought maybe I could try to show you um, my scene and take you through it. It's actually a very simple setup. So let's um, let's have a look. What I did is um, I worked with a torus, um, a very a simple torus, nothing special about it. I did squish it a little bit, but I didn't work on the geometry, which I should have, to be fair, if I was to redo that now. Well, I worked for one hour on it, so I, I really, really made it quick. Um, but I would, I would, I would try to work more on the on the topology here. Try to use some more deformers and stuff like that. Um, and I use this to emit um, my particles. Here I have a uh, one emitter only on that side on that scene. A very simple um, emitter. Uh, let me take off the trail for now and see what happens with the with the particles. So the they just go as a, they're pulsing. Um, my emission mode is pulsing here, pulse. I pulse 2000 particles every four seconds or, no, every second, every one and a half second, about. And, um, and I color them uh, with a, a, a different gr uh, gradient which I have animated so as you can see well as you go through the through the scene it starts on the blue and it animates to that so that it, it changes towards the end that will be relevant for the um, for the the trails at the end they will they will change color um, with respect to this so um, that's one of the things I did. Um, but um, how did I manage to emit my particles? Well, I did a selection on that torus. On this torus, uh, which is somewhere around here, this one, I have a selection at the back here. You see, just one loop. And the emit from here. So if I take off all the, um, the, the modifier, Ah, sorry, this is cached, obviously, so I need to maybe like uh, undo the cache. There is nothing happening because there is no force on my on my particles. I actually have um, no speed. So there is nothing happening with this particle that just are born here and nothing happens. For moving them around, I introduced a, an attractor here, this one. So I have an attractor. Let's have a look at the attractor. It's here. It's far. It's 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 about here. It's very wide. And um, this attractor was pushing my particles very far, like this. I did that in conjunction with the follow surface. So I put the follow surface. And as soon as I put the follow surface, I could see that my particles were doing something 
like I wanted more or less them to do. Um, I did play with the um, the the life of my particles so that they die uh, about something like let's check. I think they have um, they end the mid at eighty. They have a vari their lifespan is eighty frame. They have a variation on here, so so that they don't they don't live forever in the scene. Um, but that was still not really exactly what I wanted. I wanted them to be a little bit more um, scattered around. So I added um, first I added a limit, a limit um, so that it limited the. I mean, no, sorry. I, I added um, a turbulence. But when I added the turbulence, it went a little bit too crazy, as you can see. So my turbulence is just a turbulence. I don't. I, I removed the z-axis. I didn't want them to move like too crazily. So they are like small. It's a small scale. It's a small strength. It's not like that crazy strength. But um, when I put the limit, it lim I, I, with the limit with the limit, I limit the axis a little bit more. Uh, even though, as I was using it, uh, it 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 didn't really matter anymore. When as soon as uh, in the turbulence I removed the, the the z axis, I didn't really need to limit much of anything here. So that you can not have to use it really much. Um, but what I did though is they were going too fast, so I used the speed modifier to slow them down and now by using a speed modifier which i i have just a, a set value and as an absolute uh, value of 63 because that's what worked i could probably have gone even slower to be fair um, a little bit slower and um that's basically what what was needed then i added a a trail um, a generator to do it uh, my trail generator is quite simple um, the, the trails don't last forever they are like uh, 34 frame in length with a variation in of 12 frames no connection nothing nothing special about it really really nothing special and I have on my trails I have um, I have a curved um, for the thickness of my trails as when when they render. So let's put back the the cache uh, because that's really what what the final scene is. I also wanted um, a little bit of flying particle around. So for the sake of simplicity, not to have to exclude any of the modifier, I could just have added an emitter here, but I, I decided to go for another system, and this is a very basic system with an emitter. Um, the emitter is a huge sphere around my around my torus here, and what happened to it is um, there is some turbulence. I think it's probably a curl turbulence for this one. I'm not sure, but yeah, curl turbulence, and um, and um, very very nothing basically. Almost the, the 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 default settings here worked well, and um, and that's it. And then when, um, well, I, I added a camera. So where is that? So first let me remove this here. Uh, I added the camera, which is here. Um, I found a nice angle, a light here. I put some depth of field, but um, it still didn't look like an eye at all. Wh whatever I was doing here was not really, really looking like what I wanted. So I copied my my torus. Oh, of course, sorry, I forgot to tell you. On my particles themselves, I do have. Um, uh, an um, uh, instance um, uh, so that there is a color emitted. I w I'll go a little bit through the materials just after that. 
what I've done uh, to make it look a little bit more like an eye. I have actually um, for reflections, I added some some um, material that are like a glass material. Is the is the torus? I just copied the torus basically uh, on top and put some glass and I, I, and I did it more than once so that I can play with the color of them. So let's have a look at the, the trail. How do the, the material for the trail is very, very simple. Like the most simple material you can find. This is um, an, um, an emission with a transparent, so it's added, added emission. Um, this goes into a mix shader with another principle um, here. I, I wanted a bit of specular and um, I wanted to mix it so that it's not too much. And the attribute, the attribute is set to trail so that it gets the color from the particle color. Basically, the trail got the color from the particle colors. And, um, and uh, in the mix shader, I mixed more of this than the emission. That's uh, that's what it, there is. For the particle themselves, what do I have? I kind of forgot, but not much either. Uh, which one is that? Sorry, it should be this one. Well, you see what there is? Nothing, just the... the no, sorry, that's not what it is. This one is, I should name my stuff, emission is this one I think oh my god I'm lost sorry um, let's rename it like that and we'll see yeah it is this one so almost nothing is just this and that's all what there is and I think I, I animated let's check maybe I animated um the the parameter of this um color uh, where can i see that I'm not setting yes so so i'm gonna move here but as we go through through the 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 timeline it changes from pink to to yellow and that's what, what i've done with it that's basically that's basically it. There is no much no much happening. My color, my light. So that's the light. This one, uh, somewhere. Oh my god! I am completely confused. It's the same on my light. I have the same as on my particle. Can you believe that? I didn't even know. Um, here, so my light, my plane. That is my light. I change. Uh, my light change color as my particle change same and um, I had forgotten I had done that that's very basically it that's that that's that's what that's what I have then I usually went into also into what you call it uh, after effects and that did do some work for um, um, the uh, put a little bit of glow and and uh, I played a little bit to try to work a little bit more with the transparency of my of my eyeball, but that's really, really in a nutshell. This is what um, this this is. If I was to redo it, if I had time, if it was my idea, if I was not um, trying to reproduce someone else's work, uh, I would have probably um, spawned some particles. I would have slowed down everything and once they arrive here I would probably have killed my original particle and and change the direction of these by spawning new particles around and do like a little bit more like in the in the example in the original it this can be refined like a million times. It's a um, very 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 basic setup. Well I hope this will be helpful and um, that you can like get some very very nice results with your your own renders if you try to do something with this technique please share maybe not only to me maybe maybe to to the whole world um, and um, it's always nice to
to know that uh, people are doing things with my short tutorials. I'm uh, always very happy to to see the results. So don't 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 feel shy. Just share with me, and um, and um, I wish you good luck. Hope you're going to have fun. All right. Bye bye.